A lot of trees are coming down. News 8's Aaron Cox is live in New Haven this morning. Aaron, what's going on? Good morning, Christine. You know, we just left the emergency operations center. We were on our way to a report of a tree down, and this is what we found. So we said, hey, let's stop here and show it to you. You can see this is what Steve Villanueva has been talking about all morning. The saturated ground made just enough wind to bring that tree out by its roots, crossing this part of Chapel Street, narrowly missing a car parked there. Of course, New Haven is a city. A lot of people live here and park their cars along the roadways and sidewalks, so that's one of the problems they have in New Haven. We're going to give you an example. We're trying to show you how cities are sort of responding and reacting and faring through all of this. You can see we've got a police car here parked at the corner of Chapel in Ellsworth. He's not here because of the tree. It's because the traffic light is out. So there's a police car here with its lights on so that folks who happen to actually be out and driving can be aware that there's no traffic light here. They see the police officer and they stop. We can tell you in driving through New Haven this morning, what we're seeing at this corner is really a small microcosm of what's happening in New Haven. Traffic lights are out. Right here, we've got a tree down, partially covering the street. As we were driving up Chapel Street, there was a large tree branch right in the middle of the road. We also encountered an actual light traffic pole that had come out of the sidewalk and was down. So things are starting to fall down as the winds pick up. And as we've said, the saturated ground is making trees just easy to topple over. So hopefully your car is not parked under a tree wherever you are but in new haven that's really difficult to find a spot on the street and that you're not under the uh, under a tree uh we talked to at the emergency operations center the public works director right now they have over 65 reports of either down trees or branches and many of those are on wires we're live this morning in new haven i'm erin cox news 8. Good morning kristen this is what mayor de stefano said was the biggest problem in new haven trees down on wires and take a look behind me this is what we came across as we were trying to make our way through the city. That is a very large and heavy tree branch that has literally brought down the wires right within feet of the street. This is what is happening all over the city of New Haven. We also heard the mayor talk about they are not going to get their crews out and remove these right away until it's safe for the crews to do so. As you can see, we're standing right here. So this probably happened just a few moments ago. We happened upon it. Luckily, there is not a lot of traffic, not a lot of folks out here. So it isn't too much of a problem. Although I have to admit to you, since the dawn has come and light has come out, there is more traffic. We're seeing people actually out on the roadways. I'm not sure where they're going or what they're up to. We've got a car now approaching, and it's, it, this truck is turning around as he realizes he can't get through. So this is what the utility crews are up against. As you can see, it is a large tree. The wires are down. In this neighborhood, no lights are on at this point. We're live this morning in New Haven. I'm Erin Cox, News 8.